In the last week, I've become the most dangerous man in the digital world. I've got governments, regulators, trillion dollar Silicon Valley companies, and basically every social media platform under the sun that have banned me. They're coming after me, they're coming after my company and coming after my reputation because I produce the most controversial piece of content on the internet. I'm here to fight for basically a fundamental human right, which is freedom of speech, freedom of press, and it's being taken away from us in these strange times. April 6th, we streamed it live on YouTube. It was the second biggest YouTube stream in the world that day, second only to President Trump doing his coronavirus update. Uh, 65,000 concurrent people. It was watched for 14 years of watch time. And I was like, this thing's gonna hit Elon Musk numbers, 25 million views. Based on the previous one, seven million views, this had 4X the live streams. So I was like, this thing's going to Pluto. 30 minutes later, YouTube bans it. Well, I didn't talk to him for 24 hours. I heard about it in the BBC the next day when they were coming out and calling us, you know, uh, all sorts of names. But, you know, the content itself was David Icke sitting down with me and walking through in a nuanced, long form conversation about what he really thought of this COVID-19. And it started off with saying, look, a lot of people are testing positive for something they're calling COVID-19, but actually dying from different reasons. And he went on to talk about 5G, big buzzword there. He went on to talk about vaccines. He went on to slam figures like Bill Gates and Elon Musk. And then at the very end, he gave us a solution, which is to not kowtow to our human fears and to watch out who is oppressing us from above. And that was the piece of content that we put out there and it was banned. Ofcon coming out and telling any broadcaster here in the UK they're not allowed to talk about certain things, including 5G and the coronavirus and all that stuff that's related. This is a freedom of speech issue is what this is. That's a basic human right. I don't care if you live in the UK or the US or in Russia or in China, you have the right to say what you believe. And David is not being given that right by a lot of people. And in my opinion, Ofcon is not giving people that right for people to have those expressions and talk about those things. And look, I don't agree with everything David says. I don't, but I will fight to the death for his right to be able to say it. And right now that right is being removed by a lot of people out there. We have decided to fight back. We have decided to stream what we're calling Rose Ike 3, the end of the trilogy on May 3rd, 2020. And we're gonna have a million people watching that live stream simultaneously. It'll make us the largest live stream of a conversation in human history. Uh, but to do that, I can't wait and kowtow to these Silicon Valley companies, but we've had to create our own platform. I wanna have this discussion. I wanna talk about 5G. I wanna talk about this virus. I wanna talk about what's happening in Italy, what's happening in America. I wanna talk about the symptoms, people with symptoms versus people that are dying. I wanna talk about all sorts of stuff, including these 5G towers. Why are they going up when everything else is on lockdown? These are questions I have. I think a lot of us have, and we'd like some answers from some people. And so we're gonna make some noise until we get those answers. There's a lot of people out there that would probably prefer this interview does not happen.